Shito, welcome to break seven. We have seven questions for you so that your fans can get to know you better. Hello po, thank you for having me. If you were to have a uh, collab performance with one artist, sino yon and why? Joey Ayala. It's something that I've never tapped yet, but I'm I've been a fan since I was eight years old. So. Ano yung music influence mo growing up? Nakidig ako sa lahat eh, from new wave to Michael Jackson to ballads. Never ko na limit yung sarili ko. So kahit mga swing out sisters to Slipknot from gospel to satanic yata pinakinggan ko lahat eh. So I really enjoy listening to music and I don't focus on just one genre. So naging influential siya when it comes to our band because we don't limit ourselves to a certain genre also. What's the best era for you in terms of music? Now, I think because ngayon yung kids and the musicians now, wala silang limit when it comes to mainstream media anymore. They just need a laptop and put out their music so they don't have to please anyone except themselves. And I think ngayon sobra outstanding na mga musicians, singers, songwriters, and bands now. And look what they're doing talagang ang layo ng music nila compared to what we did noong 90s. How would you describe the trend? Nagkaroon ng acoustic trend, nagkaroon ng novelty trend, ng mga panahon ng mga spaghetti, nagkaroon din ng mga solo-solo from Paolo Santos and Kichi Nadal. Tapos nagkaroon din ng band explosion ng pagdating nila Bamboo. And it's normal, it's fun seeing trends. I love following trends from boy bands to K-pop. I'm such a big fan of music na tuwing my trend, I enjoy watching it and I enjoy listening to whoever's hot or it's also nice to see kung sino yung mga survive from the past and seeing what they're doing now, parang ganyan. Sobrang fascinated lang talaga ako with music and the artists behind them. So hindi na siya yung about who is the best eh? kundi yung growth and evolution of your music. Wala namang way to find out kung sino talaga yung the best kasi it's a preference lang ng mga tao. So, kunyari, sikat na sikat yung Salvacuta. I could say na sila yung the best, pero they reached their peak and I'm a fan of what they did ng mga panahon ng Stupid Love. And as I said, ng mga panahon ng mga Sex Bomb Girls, they also left the mark. And it's always fun to see people hit it big. So exciting for me. During your time, how did you handle competition? Ang tindi naman competition nyo kasi dati eh. We never considered them as competition. Because first of all, yung mga bands naman, it's not like toothpaste na pag bumili ka isang brand, di ka nabibili ng ibang brand. Eh. You could like, pwede mo ma-enjoy yung River Maya E-Heads and Paroke at the same time. It's never a uh, competition. And we never strived to be on top. Masaya na kami sa, dito lang sa sidelines. And I think that is one of the reasons why Paroke has lasted so long. Because masaya na kami sa sidelines. Never kami nag-peak. We're just present and we continue doing what we love doing regardless of any trends or whatever we're just here by default parang ganun. me and my bandmates have been friends since yung drummer night since prep si Vinci grade 3 Bowie grade 5 <laughs> si Gab in first year high school and si Darius ng college because he's from La Salsa so sa UP na kami nagkakilala pero more than pagiging uh, group of musicians we're really good friends pero with the other bands as in nagkakaroon kayo ng chance to mingle with each other Sobrang liit niyan eh. So whenever may gig kayo, kayo lang din na magkikita-kita. Like kunya, with, with Kamikaze, kaibigan ko sila bago pa sila maging Kamikaze. So natural lang na maging friends kami. Pero there are bands also na nakilala lang namin while being on tour. Like Greyhounds or Hail. Basta yung mga bands, we, we're so familiar with them. Lagi namin sila nakakasabay. So we consider them as parang classmates. The scene is so small. Na isang grupo lang, isang napakalit na grupo lang yung mga musikero na. At kung may bagong artist, kunya Ben and Ben, when they came out, syempre, they were relatively new, pero even before they made it big, we'd invite them na agad to do shows with us on small venues, parang ganyan, in December Ave, kasi we're such fans of new artists. Tas, when they make it big, talaga sobrang, sobrang exciting because we saw how their growth. Eh. Parang it's, proud it's, parent it, din. Eh. It's just fun seeing something yeah. reach their full potential. Parang ganyan, nakita mo yung growth nila from being an amateur band to becoming the biggest act in the Philippines. It's always fa fascinating for me. What kind of coach are you? I always go for the underdog. So, I think I'm the coach that will focus not on the talent, but everything that revolves around it. Let the other coaches focus on the talent because it's their forte, it's their strength. Ako, I can't sing, but I know how to perform. That's what I want to do. But I've been mentoring kids and singer-songwriters for more than a decade already, so it's not new to be a, a mentor. But to do it on a show na my competition, it's totally different. When I when I mentor kids, I'm like a, I'm also like a classmate. So by kami na tututo, I think that's the approach that I always take as a mentor. 
what advice can you give the contestants? Kung nangangarap ka ng ganito katindi, kailangan yung hard work na ilalagay mo at yung focus mo is more than everyone because if it's that easy, then everybody would be doing it. Diba? So, kailangan mo mas galingan kesa sa iba, mas maging hardworking ka kesa sa iba, maging mas focused ka. And lastly, anong dapat nilang abangan sa inyo, sa show, sa The Voice Generation? Basta alam ko masaya kasi nakasama ko yung mga coaches and totally different individuals eh. Each coach is so different from the next. So, nakakatawa ang ipagsama-sama dito para talaga siyang awkward mix of different people and it's, it's so fun. Uh, so far, yung mga, that, the time that I spent with them, sobrang nakakatawa eh. Grabe eh. Iba-ibang genre iba-iba. din kasi. Oo, oh, iba-ibang genre, iba-ibang ugali, iba-ibang age. So, nakakatawa. It's just nice to be involved in something this chaotic. Music